know, the world is much more connected than we might realize. What? You can't, you can't hear me? Okay, I'll come, you stay there, I'll come to you. As I was saying, the world is much more connected than we might realize. This rubber ducky, <laughs> this water, the air we breathe, it's all made of matter. Matter, it's all made of matter. And today, that's going to be the only thing that matters, the states of matter. And I guess I, I guess I could have just walked around to tell you that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go put some dry clothes on. I'll see you in a minute. I'll dry it off here. Now, you, me, this little puppy, this ice cream, mm, dark charts next week, are all made of matter. Matter can come in three main phases. A solid, like this plant. Liquid, like this water. Mm. Whoops. Or gas, like the air in this balloon. Now the cool thing is, Matter can actually change its phase back and forth between these three phases, solid, gas, and liquid. Now in a solid, the particles of matter are packed extremely close together. They're so close, that's why I can't go through this solid wall. Particles are too close together. Now in a liquid, they're spread out a little bit more. That's why earlier I could swim through this pool. The particles are far away enough from each other that I can move through them but they are close enough that they still slow me down. Now in a gas, the particles are really far away from each other. That's why you can move through a gas so easily and you can do fun stuff like this. When you add energy to a solid, the particles speed up and the solid can melt and turn into a liquid, like this ice cream. This is called melting. If you add enough energy to a solid, it can turn into a gas. That's called sublimation, like this solid piece of dry ice turning into a gas due to the heat from this water. When you add energy to a liquid, it becomes a gas. This is called vaporization, like this water vaporizing. When you remove energy from a liquid, the particles slow down and change into a solid. This is called freezing, like these ice cubes from the freezer. When you remove energy from a gas, it becomes a liquid. This is called condensation, like when the hot air from a sink turns into water on a mirror. If you remove enough energy from a gas, it will turn into a solid. This is called deposition, like when soot forms in a chimney from the gas. So it's all about temperature. In order to increase the energy, you have to increase the temperature. In order to decrease the energy, you have to decrease the temperature. So today we're gonna to be making some movie magic. Now we're gonna be using dry ice, which can be very dangerous. That's why an adult should be the only one who handles it. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some goggles because, you know, Safety first. You're also gonna need some gloves because this dry ice is gonna be super cold. You're gonna need some beakers or some glass containers, something you can really see what's going on. You're also gonna need some food coloring, doesn't matter what color. You're gonna need some tools. I've got a mallet and a screwdriver. And of course, you need the dry ice. We're gonna put it in here, or we're gonna try to put it in here. Oh, come on, just. All right, that's why I got this mallet and screwdriver. All right, pop, pop, come on. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so I've got my pieces. We'll definitely fit this. Oh, come on. All right, just come on. Okay, just mount a few more times, and there we go. Hey, how about that? Food coloring time. A few drops. Well, okay, that's more of a few. Then I guess it'll be okay. Time to put in the water. Then what? Okay, we need a lot more water. Let's add some more water. Adding it, and suddenly we have movie magic. When you see the back of the crazy scientists, they have all their chemicals going. It's just dry ice and food coloring and water. All right, so let's recap. There are three states of matter. All matter is either solid, 
liquid, or a gas. These are the states of matter, and they can change back and forth amongst each other by either increasing or decreasing the energy. And this causes a phase change. That's it for this episode. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna hop back in that pool and decrease my energy by floating my worries away. Goodbye, you people.